What up everybody? It's almost St. Patty's Day and I figured the best thing to do for St. Patty's Day is sous vide corned beef brisket. I got this thing at Costco for about uh, $17, $18. Um, it's about four and a half pounds of USDA choice corned beef. Um, so let's get this thing out of the bag. It does come with one of these little spice packs. There's the beef. Um, it's looking pretty good. It's kind of juicy from all that liquid. We're going to go ahead and rinse it off really good. Um, get all that brining solution off of there that they put on there. I want to make sure that it's uh, dried off pretty well so we don't have a whole lot of extra moisture in the bag um, when we go to seal it up. So we'll just dab it with a paper towel, uh, both sides, and uh, just get it ready to put in the bag. Check this thing out, it looks amazing. Here's that little spice pack that usually comes with the corned beef brisket. Um, it's got some mustard seed and some other seasonings in there. I like to sprinkle it on evenly um, on the top and on the bottom. Um, just give it uh, a good coating on both sides. And here's the brisket, pretty much ready to go in the bag. It's as easy as that. Just rinse it off and put the seasoning on. I got the bag already. I got the edges folded over so it doesn't get any uh, meat stuff all over it. And I found the best way to do this is just to lift it up and just drop it down in the bag just like that rather than trying to squeeze it in on the counter. So here it is. The only thing I added was some black peppercorns into that mix. All right, it's pretty much ready to go. I got the, uh, the water going at 140 degrees and we're gonna cook it for 48 hours. It's gonna be so delicious. All right, here we go, let's get in the water. Now this thing's pretty huge, so I chose to use my bigger uh, container for my Innova. Just go ahead and drop this in the water and try not to splash it all over yourself. So here we are, it's about one o'clock in the morning on St. Patty's Day, and uh, I'm just hanging out, drinking a beer. Um, I wanted to check on this and check out the lines on here. You can see there's not very much water evaporation. This is 30 hours into the cook, so it's pretty awesome. Good morning, it is 8.30 a.m. on St. Patty's Day. Still at 140 degrees, so that's sweet. Um, it's getting pretty close here, um, and I'm getting real excited. I went ahead and started up some cabbage this morning in the slow cooker. Uh, had a green cabbage. I put some diced ham in there. Um, I used some frozen pearl onions and I sliced up about a half a stick of butter. And to that I poured in a can of beer and I mixed in some chicken seasoning to that. And then I added about five, six cups of water. Um, and that'll all cook down and make the cabbage real tender and good. And that's going to be a really delicious side dish to our corned beef. I also cut up some Brussels sprouts and some red potatoes, um, sprinkled it with salt and pepper and onion powder and garlic powder, and uh, mixed it all up with olive oil and put it on a baking sheet, and we're just going to roast those up in the oven. They're going to be in the oven for about 45 minutes at 425 degrees. So here's the corned beef pulled out of the water. It was cooking for a solid 48 hours, and this thing is going to be sweet and tender. Look how much liquid this thing took out. Let's go ahead and cut it open, and uh, we'll drain off that liquid into a bowl. Look at that. So much liquid. We're going to save that for something else. So let's go ahead and cut this thing out. smells amazing look at it it's got the spices all over it it looks delicious I can't wait to see how tender and delicious it is okay I can't wait any longer I got to taste this thing let's cut up a couple slices it cuts like butter you can see here you can just pull it apart so easy it is so tender 
I'm gonna have a hard time saving some of this for dinner. Here's our Brussels sprouts and our potatoes. I went ahead and made a uh, mustard cream sauce out of that gravy. And here is the cabbage. So here's the finished plate. You can see that honey mustard uh, glaze that I made out of the drippings from the meat and uh, the delicious browning on the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts and that cooked down cabbage with the ham. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. It's one of the greatest parts about leftover corned beef. You get to make a Reuben sandwich. Hello. What are you doing, Vinny? Huh? He wants a Reuben. All right, well, I hope everybody had a great St. Paddy's Day, and I hope you learned something from this video. Um, that corned beef that we sous vide for 48 hours was out of this world. You definitely got to try it that way if you can. So once again, happy St. Paddy's Day. I um, hope you had some beers and had some corned beef. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.